What's up guys, day number three in the five days of fuzz. Um, and today I'm bringing you the amazing King Tone Mini Fuzz by Jesse Davey. I've been fortunate enough to become friends with Jesse over the last year. Looked up to Jesse a lot when I was first getting into playing just because of his sheer tone and his playing. Um, he had a great band, The Hoax, and he's done things after that that have cemented his uh, legacy as far as guitar, guitar playing, tone, tonal progression. Uh, and Jesse's a, a well-renowned guitar player and a well-renowned pedal builder, too. He's guys like Doyle Bramhall, Josh Smith, Matt Schofield. There's a lot of players. Joey Landers, a lot of guys are using these pedals. The proof is in the pedal. Uh, I went out to Jesse's house in March of this year and spent a few days with him, and I brought my old 66 NKT 275 fuzz face. And we were able to we were able to make a dead-on clone. Um, this is an NKT 275 uh, fuzz. This is a germanium one. Um, big, big, big speed knob here for the volume, which is great to tow down during a gig and get some more boost out of it. Jesse also has a dip switch on here for three different, to my ear, bass settings. You know, so all the way to the left, the fat full function, that would be Jesse's original vintage fuzz setting. Over here in the middle, you've got a zonk setting, which sounds really good with the bias brought way down, and I'll explain that in a minute. And then you have the vintage, uh, that to me is the more vintage fuzz face sound, uh, retaining that vintage bass fuzz characteristic. Can get a little muddy if you don't work it in the right way, but I, that's what I set it up, and that's how I enjoy it. All right, so I wanted to take some time and discuss the King Tone bias, uh, the mini fuzz bias. So, <clears throat> Germanium transistors, the weak point of them is they're extremely sensitive to heat. You know, in a cooler environment, they can sound amazing. And then as soon as you get to a little warmer stage or a warmer room, they kind of fall on itself. But having adjustable bias with this knob is great. But nine times out of ten, you're inside the fuzz face with a multimeter trying to find your optimum bias point. So, Jesse devised this cool LED. So, right there... That's as soon as the LED comes on. That's letting you know you're at your lowest optimum bias. Now, anything before that with the LED off is not saying that it's bad. You may enjoy that sound, and that's great. But this is where, with the LED on, this is where the transistors function best. And you have a slight sweep there. Now it's off. So that just went off. So that would be the highest optimum bias the transistors want to see. And right about in the middle is where you want to get that to me, which which that to my, my settings, my amp, my playing sounds great. And like I said, it's not saying that anything with the LED off is hurting your tone or taking away from the fuzz. The, bi the LED being on is letting you know those transistors are at their optimum bias point. So I'm going to plug this thing in and I'm just going to run through it. One thing I want to mention about this. Fuzz is fuzz, and somebody asked me the other day, is a fuzz face, don't you think a fuzz face is a one-trick pony? In a way, yes, but also the shades of color in the volume knob turning your guitar up or down really, really bring out what a fuzz face can do. So in this video, as of course I'm going to light up some fuzz tones, but I want you guys to, to pay attention to the cleans and the rolled-off sparkle that comes out of this pedal, because it's really, really amazing. Uh, here's a straight-in tone. <laughs>
have it, a couple of quick rips on the Jesse Davey mini fuzz. Um, I just really enjoy like the. Uh... <laughs> Like I was saying too, I really, really, I enjoy living in that cleanup area where you get those. fuzz bash that you get when you really dig into it and like I said the germanium cleanup on this one and being able to dial in the bias and know exactly where you are is really really helpful plenty of volume inside there is a boost switch to give you more volume which for fuzz face users you'll know that is much needed sometimes at a gig it runs on a 9 volt supply and also takes batteries obviously again it's just a great great design from a really great builder great guy Jesse's a great friend we talk about it all the time we love tone and always trying to progress that's one thing I admire about Jesse so check out your King Tone Mini Fuzz before they're extinct please